Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Jazzy C After Dark in the daytime. <laughs> I'm your girl, your host, Jazzy C. You already know what to do. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that button at the bottom of the screen for the notifications. You do not want to miss an episode. And before we get started, you know I'm sending out big hugs and big kisses to all of you, to all of my subscribers, to all of my listeners. I really do appreciate it. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Put me in your algorithms so I can keep on flowing through. Okay, so this is a special episode. If you guys have not noticed, I'm in my gym clothes. Like, y'all know I record at nighttime, hence Jazzy C after dark. But I felt like I needed to go online and just, you know, drop a little two cents, if you will. Put my two cents in it. On this Cardi B, Tasha K thing. Now, I'm new to the blogosphere, YouTube thing. And I'm just looking. And listening. So I really don't know, you know, about everything that's going on because I'm not a real big fan of Tosh K, but I have listened to her. And I'm a fan of Cardi B. So I don't want to come off as partial to one or the next, but I do respect Tosh K because she is a blogger. She is, well, she was somebody that I wanted to be, somebody that I looked up to, somebody that I admired. When I'm putting my things together, I'm like, okay, how can I make this live and pop? And how can I make this, my show, Jazzy C After Dark, more uh, about my personality and my thoughts? You know, that's what I took from Tasha K. So when I watch other bloggers, YouTube bloggers, I always take that in consideration. How are they making it their own? How are they setting themselves apart from everybody else? So that's that. And we already know Cardi B. It's Cardi B. It's Cardi B. You know, like, uh, if you don't love Cardi B, if you don't know who Cardi B is, then you've been living on fucking Pluto and you're a hater. Anyways, so I decided, Jazzy C, to drop my little two cents in and let y'all know how I feel because, hey, I'm a YouTube new YouTube vlogger, blogger, and... I'm like, okay, well, I did take a class or two in college about libel law, so I do have a little experience on that, so why not put those two together? So I decided to just go back to the college days, and let's just Google. Uh, first of all, I just before we do that, I just want to say that according to page six and all the other blogs out there, but page six had it written down. Uh, Cardi B wins $1.2 million defamation lawsuit against blogger Tasha K. Um, it goes on to say that Tasha K or Cardi B won $1 million in a lawsuit against YouTube vlogger Tasha Kibi, better known as Tasha K, over the gossip maven's accusation against the rapper. Now, if you have been living under a rock or on Pluto, as we say, um, we all know that back in, I guess, 2018 or something like that, Tasha K went on this rant about how, allegedly, okay, let me put that out there, allegedly, uh, shout out to Alexander Rodgers on that, okay, so, uh, allegedly she had, well, it's been proven now, right, that she, uh, on her show, she was just saying that Tasha K, or that Tasha K said that Cardi B had hurt. And that she was spreading it to her daughter by kissing her. And that she was having sex with bottles on stage as a stripper and things. And all this has come out that it wasn't true. Cardi B took Tasha K to court um, in 2019. So this has been going on for two years back and forth. Um, and last week, Cardi B testified that she was extremely suicidal over Tasha K's claims. She said that she, this is Cardi B now, she said that she felt defeated and depressed and didn't want to sleep with my husband. Chalking up fatigue, weight loss, migraines, and anxiety toward the ordeal. 
And she also added, only evil person can do that shit. This is according to Cardi B. She also testified that uh, Tasha K was going around saying that she's giving her daughter by kissing her and kissing her on the lips. And then they had, you know, Cardi B had brought up her uh, health records to prove that she didn't have and um, whatnot. So she won the case. She won her money. And congratulations to her. You have to let me know what y'all think. Do is celebrities a subject to this? Like, since you on the limelight, it says you put yourself out there. Should you be like more open and more accepting to things like this, to people making up lies to just because you are a celebrity and in the limelight? Let me know what y'all think. Okay, okay, I'm sorry about that. I had to take a quick little break, get my little cup of coffee over here. So, um, I looked up the definitions of the words, um, because she's got, Tasha K got sued for invasion of property or invasion of privacy. And it says invasion of privacy is the unjustifiable intrusion into the personal life of another without consent. Well, we know that she did that. And coincidentally, honey, Cardi B album, invasion of privacy. Uh huh. Uh -huh I like that. I like that correlation. So she was ultimately sued for slander and libel law. Um, libel and slander are two types of defamatory statements. Libel is a defamatory statement written. Libel is written. Slander is spoken. So I guess Cardi B is really so inclined. She could probably even go after the fans who was saying things in the comment. Or, I mean, if she was really so inclined, if you ask me, saying that Cardi B had this, Cardi B had that. Well, you... It's just slander, libel, my name. Libel is written, slander. So, and Tasha K is slandering. Um, I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. Y'all have to let me know what y'all think. But I think that us as bloggers, us as bloggers, whatever you want to call us, should be careful on what we say. And that's just it. You know, you can't go around saying things he say, she say. You can't do that. So I was watching a couple other shows last night because this was really hot story last night on YouTube. And um, the show um, Cocktails and Queens with uh, Vivica and Lisa Ray who holds power in class. You know, Lisa Ray, she don't play when it comes to class. And neither do Vivica. Um, they'll put your ass on blast in a minute and just let you know you classless. Um, you won't, you haven't earned the respect and or the title. Don't come to me like that. Don't sip to me like that. You don't have the clout like that. And I think that, you know, seeing as though, you know, Tasha K might be thrown from her reign, you know, they might, you know, be the next runners up in that sphere to say, hey, you know what I mean? You don't do that. Your show is not an example of what YouTube vloggers should be. Our show in, is an example of what YouTube vloggers should be. And they had a lot of things to say about it. Um, Lisa Ray was going in on Tosh K and just was like, um, she deserved what she got, basically, uh, allegedly. So, you know, I don't know. I don't know. $1.2 million. Um, and then she got some punitive damages on her. Um, so she it's 1.2 plus punitive. So she's going to be paying for a long time. I don't think that the Tasha K tube, is that what she was saying? That Tasha, whatever she was saying. I don't think that YouTube will be giving you a spot. You just got sued. Like, and the person who sued you won. Like, for slander. Now, who's going to watch your program now? Only people who believe lies and trash. That will, you know what? It's a lot of people who do that. You got to let me know what y'all think. Like, will y'all still be watching Tasha K? Will y'all believe anything that she has to say after this? Or will y'all move on to the next vlogger? Um, I know a lot of people. Shout out to another guy that I watched, Armand. He was going in on it, cracking up. And very well he should be. Very well, he should be. Another person that was probably going in, throwing up hey! in the air was Mr. Likes, Mr. Bobby Likes. I'm pretty sure because Tosh K was saying some derogatory things about him, too. So, the moral of the story is, 
Don't be going out spreading false rumors about people because you just never know. A person like Cardi B, you ought to know. She gonna get her coins. And she gonna let you know in the same process here. Don't come after me. Don't come for me and my family because I will I'm not the ghetto Cardi B that you thought that I was. I'm going to show you. And she showed up and showed out. Now, the little outfits that she wearing, was wearing the court, it was just had me shook, honey. You know, felt sorry for Tasha because, you know, in the post that she was writing, oh, I want to thank my fans. She thinking her fans all right. She better be uh putting out that cash app and asking them to donate, honey. Uh, uh, because, honey. Uh, all right, y'all have to let me know what y'all think because I think that this has taught all of us, even broke people, a valuable lesson. You watch what you post on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter because you never know. Somebody could be looking, watching, and waiting for you to slip, honey, and take that ass to court. <laughs> I'm sorry for it. And it's a sad day. I wonder, uh, oh man. Well, you know what? If she was having any, um, sponsors, and if her sponsors is dropping her, and they're looking for someone new in the YouTube sphere to grab a hold and say, oh, you cute. Um, I want to, you know, put some money into your show, please. Jazzy C After Dark is always willing to. And waiting for any new sponsors. If you're looking for some, please hit the hit me on my phone. <laughs> anyways, 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 y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Um, was this a justified? Was this a justified verdict, or do you think that the judge was doing too much because Cardi B already is worth millions of dollars? Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Okay. In the meantime, you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching Jazzy C After Dark. I really do appreciate it. I'm not going to put up the um, audio to uh, the Queens and Cocktails, but I will put up a link. So y'all can check that out on your own and just come back to Jazzy C and let me know what you think. Do you think that it was a justified or you think that it was too much? In the meantime, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. Hit that button at the bottom of the bell or screen for the notifications and leave some kisses in my comments so let me know what you think. Know that the ride or die. I keep boys by my side. Know that the ride or die. I keep boys by my side. Oh, boy. Then we hustle, boy.